have them boys, Turbo Toys here. Today it is Turbo's Tag Team Tuesday! Because yes boys, coming at you with a pink and black attack, we've got representing Mattel Elite Series 43, Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Right boys, well this all started in 1985 when Bret Hart was wrestling under a cowboy gimmick and he was really unhappy with the way it was going. So, he suggested becoming a tag team with Jim the Anvil Neidhart. That team becoming known as the Hart Foundation. So, as we take a look at the packaging, we see that they have their pictures displayed on both sides of the boxes. As well on the back is their stats and career highlights. So as always boys, please feel free to pause and read. And while we're here boys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Because you're never going to want to miss out on the next episodes of Turbo's Tag Team Tuesday. Right boys, so we're going to get the figures outside of the boxes and take a little look. Yeah, the Hart Foundation made their pay-per-view debut at WrestleMania 2. And they won their first tag team championships in 1987 against the British Bulldogs. So it is quite fitting that the accessories that come with these figures are the WWE or WWF Classic Tag Team Championships. And throughout their WWE career they were going to hold this two times. And then the pair also come with a pair of sunglasses each. Now Bret Hart has the aviator style sunglasses which he used to wear down to the ring as an entrance. And of course Jim's got the more sports style sunglasses which I really do like the look of these when placed on the figure. I think it sets Jim off really really nice. And then here we see all the accessories on the figures so you can actually see what they look like. Now just before we get into the figures, there's just a few things that I don't like about these is that it's a typical Mattel thing is that the arms of both these figures are frozen outright. So when you're posing them, they look a bit rubbish. So what I will try and do is apply a bit of heat to them, try and loosen up them joints a bit and hopefully the arms will move down. But nonetheless, we'll have a little look at Bret Hart's head scan. Now personally, I'm not a big fan of this head scan. So I failed to see Bret Hart in this scan. Like if you, if it weren't for the attire and you told me that this was Bret Hart, I might have a hard time believing you. Now I can appreciate it's a younger Bret and they're trying to do something different to the previous releases. But unlike other scans, like this build a figure Bret head, where I think like his facial features are better suited to his look. I just feel like this scan lacks any distinctive Bret Hart features. I mean, I don't know if I'm wrong or not. I'd love to know your thoughts. He has his black singlet with a pink heart logo, as well as black elbow pads. And of course, the white wrist tape. He has the pink tights with the four black hearts, plus the black and white striped designs going down both sides. He has Hitman written across the back part of the tights, also black knee pads and white boots with a pink and black trim, and then finished off with a pink star. Now, as for Jim the Anvil, now, I really do like this skin. I mean, bear in mind, this is his first time in the line figure, so there was nothing else to compare it to, but I think it definitely does look like him. They got the beard right, so that's the most important thing. But you could just definitely tell that this is Jim Neidhart. Now, we would go on later to have a more expressive head scan in the Elite 74 Collector's Edition, but I really do rate this head scan. Now, this figure has the thicker torso, sporting the chest hair under a similar sort of singlet to his brother-in-law, and of course, with the pink heart. Now, he has no elbow pads, but he does have the white wrist tape. Now, he's also wearing the pink tights with anvil across the back, he also has the black and white stripes down each side of the attire. And he doesn't have any knee pads, he just has his white boots with a pink trim. And of course he has the Anvil logo on both sides of the boots. Now the team did have a brief break, but when they come back together at SummerSlam, they did win their two out of three falls match against the Demolition to become two-time WWE Tag Team Champions. They would go on to lose their tag team titles against the Nasty Boys with their former manager Jimmy Hart playing a massive part in them losing. They would also go on to lose the rematch by disqualification, basically spelling the end of the tag team. Now in his career, Neidhart would have a few unsuccessful shots at the Intercontinental Championship. But before the two was part of the Hart Foundation faction with Owen, Davy Boy and Brian Pillman, Neidhart would go on to form the new foundation with Owen Hart. And he would also have stints in ECW, New Japan Pro Wrestling and WCW. And as for Brit the Hitman Hart, he would later become a two-time Intercontinental Champion... And of course have five WWF Championship reigns to his name before a certain night in Montreal. But unfortunately after Jim Neidhart's untimely death, the team would be recognised in the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2019. And of course this making Brett a two-time Hall of Famer. Now boys, would I recommend these figures? Now even though I have a few gripes with Brett Hart, this is the only elite version in this incarnation of the Hart Foundation that we've got. And my display of legendary tag teams wouldn't be right if the Hart Foundation wasn't on there. The collection just wouldn't be complete. 
Now, especially the UK, Bret Hart figures are never easy to come by. Like, I think apart from the Ultimate Edition, this was the only mainline release that we actually got in the UK. And of course, the Collector's Edition Anvil still goes for silly money. Like, I think I was looking on eBay and it was like £60. So these figures do make a nice addition to the collection. I ain't going to grumble. But boys, that's going to do it for this one. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and give that subscribe button a big heart attack. Don't forget to check me out on the Instagrams at Turbo Toys. Boys, just go out there and be the excellence of execution. Until the next video, boys, I will see ya. When I see ya.